future of the game for the interest of baseball in Nigeria. I think they need to work together, bury their hatchets. I don't understand why um, everywhere these days there's a, li a little bit of crisis, one level of crisis or the other. Um, handball court case is coming up in the next couple of days, later this month, uh, in June. Uh, basketball, they are, some guys are also warming up. Uh, so it, it, it's, it's not just good, good for the good of, for, for it's not ideal for the good of the game. But let's quickly go on to this one. Uh, and what you are seeing on your screen are pictures from Mauritius. The FIFA Congress um, is, is um, ending uh, today. But today, a lot of things have happened. A lot of things have happened. Mm. And um, ideally, uh, the happen? highlight mm. has to be a woman coming on board uh, and then action against racism. Although the issue of uh, age limit for executive committee members and those that want to run football mm. was uh, cleverly mm. uh, removed mm. by uh, Mr. Prater. Yeah, okay. But let's focus on what they achieved mm. uh, and not talk about what they couldn't achieve here. Yeah, Will you call this an achievement? That is the major, major question. <laughs> a woman Lydia for the first time. Lydia That is making history as the first woman to be... African. Burundi. Yeah, to, to be uh, elected to the FIFA, the all-powerful FIFA executive. She was called a couple of years ago. Yes. She, in she has been on, now she's been elected she has been in the system, mm. she has worked with the IOC, she has been part of uh, organize, uh, organizing the football tournament for the 2008-2012 Olympics. She made history being the second woman to ever head a football FA in Africa, which yeah. is, you and I know that is a difficult thing mm. to do in, mm. in, in Africa here. And, um, you know, she's been head of the Burundian FA since 2004, so she does have some grounding in FIFA, in the IOC, mm. and in football in Africa. But there have been questions raised about how she was brought in. A lot of people said that she was the preferred choice, not the logical choice. Mm. Preferred in the sense that she was anointed by Blatter and, and, been part and, of them. And, and members of the executive committee, some who didn't rock the boat, who keep quiet and say all those in favor of it, the boat, I, she raised her hand, nothing, just a figurehead, the rubber stamp as it were. The preferred candidate was actually Oceania's representative, Australian former, uh, former international Moya Dodd. She lost by 70 votes to 90 to Sereka. 20 votes. And a lot of people said that, look, Blatter must have paid a very stylish card. All the attention was on Moya Dodd. Meanwhile, everything had been done to ensure mm. that Sereka became... Okay, became, let's, um, let's leave the politics alone and look at <coughs> some positive things that they were able to achieve. Racism was top on the agenda. Uh, now, if, if, if you are guilty of... of, of uh, um, racism as a player, you could be banned for minimum of five games. If you are a football federation, you could be withdrawn uh, from an international, from, thrown, out, thrown out of a competition. These are huge, huge steps um, now taken by FIFA because for a long time we felt that FIFA were not reacting the way we wanted them to react to issues of racism. Yeah, and it's becoming so, widespread everywhere. So Blatter was uh, playing a uh, tongue in cheek mm. all along, you know, play, being, being diplomatic. That just shake hands and take and, a walk. Uh, just shake hands and take a walk. But, mm. but it's, it's very difficult because. Put, your, put yourself in the, the shoe of a, a player, you know, whether white or black, playing in a match. Um, some people are making monkey, monkey chants, you know, calling your sort of names. It's, 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 it's enough banana. to destabilize you. It's enough. It, it gives undue advantage to the opponent because if you're a star player, for instance, if Samuel Eto'o in the team, who is the highest goal scorer, they get a soldier to score goal and they're making monkey chants, and he, he couldn't score because of um, uh, the uh, distress uh, he, he, he faced while trying the game. Mm. And, and the, the other team wins the match, then it has given them undue advantage. Mm. So all along, uh, Blatter was playing politics, but thank God he's been able to, you know, uh, take something. this drastic decision. We need to stem that tide. It's like a cancer. You need to cut it off. If mm. not, it will become a, a problem for world football. Mm. All right, so those are the things um, that happened. Uh, at the FIFA Congress in Mauritius. We will go on a quick break. When we return from the break, we still have plenty more for you. We'll talk immediately when we return from this break about the big game this night or big game tomorrow morning. It's, it's almost the same. Uh, Nigeria against Mexico in Houston, United States of America. We'll talk about all of that. And